Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Pit Formula by Cyber Rhino Studios. The game plays two to four players, it takes about 20 minutes to play, and is for ages 13 and up. And in the game Pit Formula, you're playing as a pit crew. Pit crews are basically those who repair the uh, engines and the tires and all that good stuff uh, for the motor vehicles driving along the raceway. And in this game, it's basically kind of like a mathematical slash dexterous version of a game in which you're gathering certain p parts and pieces for your uh, car as it races around. And whenever it comes around, you're going to be then taking pieces and trying to do it as fast as you possibly can, because uh, thematically, basically these pit crews are going to need to work just as fast and just as hard as the drivers themselves to make sure that the car can get back on the raceway. The games are going to be set in rounds, and the rounds are going to involve you selecting certain parts of the vehicle and choosing pieces from the main area of the board and taking those and adding them together and putting them on the cards. And if you're successful, you're going to be able to gather a flag. And when you gather a flag, that will symbolize your place in being able to fix the car as quickly as possible. And you'll score points in doing so. And you'll score points in placing new parts on the car as well. And you'll have an opportunity to gather additional parts in, in, in included in this whole manner. Uh, there's also going to be incident cards that will determine what you're going to be doing throughout the game and how many points you're going to be getting based on the trophies. And you're going to go around in a certain number of rounds. And basically, whoever gets the most points by moving their little car along this raceway track is going to be the winner at the end of the game. I'll take a look at the game, show you what it comes with, how it plays, and we'll come up and I'll give you my review. And if you're interested, we have a rev uh, we have a playthrough video with Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker. Okay, let's show you the game down below. Here is everything included in the game Pit Formula. The rule book here, all the part pieces tiles, which will be separated into two stacks, so the players will have them within easy reach, and of course, uh, separated randomly. You'll have the incident deck and the super incident deck. These are round based cards, make sure that they're shuffled. Your trophies and your spare parts. This is your scoreboard, as well as your player scoring marker, and you'll set them on the zero space there. Here are your part cards, which you'll shuffle into four different categories. You've got, for instance, since the uh, fin, you've got the, the engine, the gasoline, and the tires here. Give every single player four of the wheels and one of each of the unique cards here, and set it up so that you see it just like this. Every player is going to be getting a player board, which is going to represent their car, and of course their car's color. And then there's going to be spaces on their board, which will indicate where you place the cards that you're going to be uh, go uh, going for. You're going to be trying to gather specific tiles to place on these cards. So for instance, for a wheel here, this one is a nine uh, plus or minus four. So in this case here, it's five, um, or it could be, of course, 13. And when you're when you're going to try and solve this one here, you're going to need something like a right here, five. That would work. Or you need a 13, a one and a three. And that would basically solve this specific card here which is rather simple, and all of them do that as well. Some of them are a little different, like for instance, this one here is a multiplication table. It's a seven times eight, which is 56. Uh, this one over here is a sequence, meaning five, six, seven, and then eight. Uh, these little tiles here tell you how many you're going to need. And then the final one here, this one here is 69 plus or minus 12. And so yeah, that's basically what you're gonna be doing. We're going to flip over one of these incident cards. Uh, you're going to check to see which specific parts you're going to need in order to complete your vehicle. After you do that, you'll set it aside somewhere. So in this case, you need two wheels and an engine. And then you'll do a three, two, one. And everybody's going to flip over their cards at the same time. And after they flipped over their cards, their attempt to gather the parts needed for the specific types of uh, cards here, the incident cards here. So in this case here, I need to solve these two wheels and this engine. And I'm going to go through here. I'm going to grab these guys and start placing them down on the specific cards in order to uh, complete each requirement for each card. And the first person to complete the requirements will gather one of these guys here. These are the little flags here, which will indicate that you were the first person to complete the objective, the second or the third. And based on the number of players is how many flags will be in the game. So a three-player game will not use this bronze flag. Uh, but in a four-player game, you will. And in a two-player game, you're just going to basically use the gold one here. When you get the flag, that's going to guarantee you points from this little trophy deck here. But you can keep going until all the flags have been grabbed. So in a three-player game, uh, if you were the first person to grab the flag, you're going to be able to continue gathering these part tiles and place them on the part cards here until the last flag has been grabbed. Maybe this guy grabs this flag here, in which case that will trigger an instant end of the round. And you'll then score points. The person who gathered the trophy will flip this guy over here and determine points. And in this 
case here, uh, this is going to say, okay, uh, in a two-player game, only gold, three players, and then, of course, four players, like I explained. Uh, gold is going to be worth a certain amount of money, which is six, and then uh, maybe... So in a four-player game, yeah, gold's worth six points. Uh, this one over here is worth four, and this one over here is worth three, and you'll keep these next to you. I believe it says a tiebreaker. And then you'll also score points, uh, these guys here, for each of the cards that you solve. So in this case here, all the wheels are worth one point. Uh, the, all of these guys here are worth two. And then for each one of these that you use, and these are basically considered wild tiles here, when you, the ones that you place on the cards here, you're going to score negative points. You'll score negative one for one, negative two for the second one, and negative three for the third one. So they're cumulative. So in this case, it would be negative six points to utilize all three of these. But it's a fast way to solve your cards at a huge cost to your points. After that, the round is basically going to end by you moving your car along the track based on the number of points that you scored. And you'll proceed to the next round. And that's going to be simply by taking the cards, uh, removing them, the certain players, based on which ones they don't complete, we're going to leave them up as kind of like a, a bonus for not completing them. And uh, you're going to gather new cards here, placing them on your cars, and rinse and repeat up until the final round where you'll take one of these guys here. This is going to be a unique uh, special incident which will require a little bit more out of you, but basically follows the same rules of the game. And at the end of the game, the player's car that is farthest along this track here is going to be the winner of the game, Pit Formula. Okay, let's talk about it. So yes, the game is basically a dexterity game with a bit of a math concept behind it. Your objective is to obviously fill the orders on the cards that you have, and each card is going to have numbers and a certain type of... Um, addition, subtraction, or um, there's going to be even types of, uh, you know, sequencings you're going to be doing and a multiplication as well. And so, for instance, if you need to fix this uh, gas in the car, it says here you need the sequence from eight to one. So you'll need an eight, then you'll need a nine, and then a zero, and it'll then go back to one. Uh, maybe you'll need something like the this one here, which is 73 plus 19. You'll add those together, or you'll subtract them, and you'll place the numbers on these, and that will basically secure your bag. And the there's only a certain number of those tiles represented on the board and the area or the area that's presented. And if you don't have those, then you're going to need to actually take these uh, spare parts here. Now, the more you take, obviously, the more points you're going to lose overall, but it's going to increase your score if you're able to get the parts finished, even with using those with the first place or even second place trophy. And it's going to be based on the number of players, whether you get which trophy and how many are available to you. Uh, basically, you're going to be gathering and you're going to be selecting, okay, I need this piece and this piece, and it's all going to be simultaneous. You're going to see the uh, craziness that goes into this game. Well, if you watch the playthrough of the game when me, Ferdinand, and Kelly play it, you'll get a good sense of how quick the rounds go. And they go rather quickly. In fact, the scoring actually takes even longer than the rounds to make sure that everybody actually took the right parts or pieces that were needed to complete that part. And if they are wrong, they'll lose points. So they have to be very careful when choosing what numbers to add to their cards. The math is very simple in the game, and it's made purposely that way so that players that are younger can play the game and older. The older you are, the more likely you'll be playing faster, and the younger you are, you might be playing a little slower. Learning math is also kind of a nice little addition to this game, not only in the aspect of the sequencing and the addition and subtraction, but how many are available on the field, because limited pieces is going to make it frantic with your hand-eye coordination. So there's a lot of little additional things that kind of help your motor memory, hand-eye coordination aspects, addition and subtraction. So it's got this like learning engine built into the game. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this game. I love the idea of being able to uh, instantly one, two, three, go and having that moment of dexterity, but it's not the entire thing. You're going to have the time to check and see what cards are what. You're going to have the idea to set aside, okay, they need these specific things that are going to be plus and minus. You'll have to you basically utilize your head in strategy before the round begins, and then you're off to the races and you go. And the theme works perfectly for this. The incidents are nice too. It changes the game subtly as to to what parts you need, but you can always gather more to score more points because you'll get more points by gathering more pieces for parts, even if you don't necessarily need them, as long as there are still flags available that haven't been taken, which can score you additional points on the racetrack. And you're not really the race car, which is nice. You get to see the race car move along the track based on how well you did. But overall, the main, main portion of the game is focusing on making sure that the car does drive well. And because of that, you'll see your, you know, basically what how you work, you'll, you'll see the the, uh, the, the turnout, the, the, what, the, what you've gained for doing so, which is really cool. I like that aspect. Uh, let's talk about the components. So you're going to have these really cute little flag meeples 
Awesome. I love these things. Super cool. Uh, you're basically going to just utilize them whenever you need to gather them. If you're the first person to gather something, you'll take the gold one. Second is the silver, and then you have the bronze. And based number of players, obviously how many you use of those. Uh, but you also have these little cars too. These are super cute, and you'll use them for point scoring. You'll get to see your track, your car move along the track based on how well you do, uh, which is a nice little additional touch. Uh, the cards are all high quality, and they feel nice. They look nice. This game looks like it's pretty much ready to go. Um, in fact, it probably is already ready to go. It's based, basically, it Look, I would purchase this game as is right now, so I imagine it's uh, fully produced, at least in, in this language here. Uh, they also have the tiles themselves for the parts or pieces. They're nice and thick. They work well. You can see them from far distance. The colors are easy to tell the difference between them. I'm not sure how colorblind friendly they are, but there's green, yellow, red, and blue, and they are very easy for me personally to be able to see, which is nice, because you're going to have different piles set aside where you can gather them depending on where you are in the seating arrangement, making it a little nicer in some cases for you and in other cases for others and uh, the, the replacement and the setup of the game is really really simple. Uh, artwork is solid, you're feeling like you're playing the game while also it's not like too over the top and usually in general with games I like over the top like crazy artwork but with games like these where you actually need to see the pieces quickly and determine what's what and how to gather them and when to gather them this is a really nice aspect of the game uh, that you can kind of see even across from the table that is the zero that is the one I need in order to attach it to the other piece to get my wheel on the car uh, to then score those points and of course hopefully get that that gold ribbon which is the most important thing and then the last round using the super incident which is nice too because it makes it a little challenging at the very end gives you a little additional requirement and makes it a little more um, of like this is you might not be winning uh, the first couple rounds but this one here gives that, you that chance to kind of catch up and get back in the race and you'll notice that this scoring is always going to be rather close in this game yes this is a kid game for the most part. It's going to be more of directed towards a younger audience. Old adults can easily play this game. I can see a family of adults getting around and enjoying this game for sure. But bringing in kids and also the ability to kind of like int integrate like math and hand-eye coordination and all that good stuff is a nice plus as well. Uh, if you're looking for something super thick, uh, then this is probably not for you. If you're looking for something that's a little bit uh, more on the, uh, the, the medium to heavy side, also probably not. If you're not great at hand-eye coordination, or dexterity, probably not as well, because it's mainly fully what the game is all about, is gathering as quickly as you can, taking that quick refresher break while the car moves along the track, and then when it kind of gets back around, then you once again go through the game and attempt to do the best you possibly can. Uh, I was not as good the first round as I was the second, and as I progressed through the game, I got better, and I like that in games whenever you're able to kind of uh, move towards getting better based on how well you did previously and learning from your mistakes. Uh, learning from what you're going to need first, how many points you're going to need based on what you need to gather. That all works really well with this game. If you're interested in the game, you can check down below. There's a link in the description for Pit Formula. For us, personally suggest this game for families, people who like dexterity games, like a little bit of the uh, gathering the tiles and pulling franticness. And if you're somebody who wants something a little more in-depth strategy, something a little more thicker, then this is probably not something I'd pick up. Regardless though, go ahead and let me know what you think down below in the description. Okay, outro. Thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game pit formula if you want to pick up this game like i said before there is a link down below where you can go ahead and choose to pick up the game you can also go ahead and like this video it'll help us out we do appreciate it tell us what you guys think about this game down below in the comments section and i'll answer any questions that you may or may not have about the game if i possibly can and of course you can subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to see more videos just like this one we produce a ton of great videos for content mainly kickstarter games but other ones as well and of course our live stream every Wednesday 6 30 p.m. PST where you can watch us play games just like this one every Wednesday on all three platforms join us on patreon and of course join us on discord links down below all right guys that's all I got for you this time and as always I look forward to racing again with you next time yeah racing again racing again with you next time hmm. I guess that works